Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Today we are going to learn how to use this special verb gustar. Me gusta, no me gusta, le gusta. Also with the song, the famous song, Me gusta la vecina, me gustas tú. Are you ready? Si te quedas conmigo, conmigo a chingar, vas a aprender. going to start with a little dialogue. I hope after watching this video you are going to have this dialogue with your friends. A mí me gusta ir al parque con mi amiga Lola. I like to go to the park with my friend Lola. Mira Lola, un pájaro. Oh, qué bonito. Me gustan mucho los pájaros. A mí también. A mí también. Me too. Me gusta la cena, me gustas tú. The purpose of this video is that after watching the video, we are going to be able to understand the song. First of all, I want you to understand that the verb gustar is a special verb. This is why we need this me, te, le, nos, os, les. We call it in Spanish objeto indirecto or indirect object. Indirect objects answer the question a quién? A quién means whom. So gustar is a special verb. We don't have a lot of verbs in Spanish that are like gustar, eh, but gustar is objeto indirecto, verbo and subject. ¿Vale? So I can say me gusta la pizza if I'm talking about me, no? I like pizza. If I'm talking about you, then I say, te gusta la pizza, you like pizza. If I'm talking about she, then I say, le gusta la pizza, no? She likes pizza. I can also say, a mí me gusta la pizza, with a mí. I don't need to say a mí, so, but if I want to emphasize the phrase, I can use a mí. What I cannot say, Es a mí gusta la pizza, ¿vale? Es incorrecto. So, I need always to say me gusta la pizza or a mí me gusta la pizza. But not a mí gusta la pizza. We can use the verb gustar in a different ways. The first thing is plus infinitivo. But I'm always going to use gusta. So, me gusta plus infinitive, te gusta plus infinitive, le gusta plus infinitive, etc. No, por ejemplo, I wrote here, leer, cantar, viajar. So, for example, if I say, a mí me gusta leer, that means I like to read. And if I say, te gusta cantar, that means you like to sing. Or if I say, Le gusta leer, that means she likes to read or he likes to read. We can also use the verb gustar with a sustantive, but we need to use me, te, le, nos, os, les, gusta plus sustantivo singular or gustan plus sustantivo plural. Let's go to see some examples. ¿Cómo es? How is it? A nosotros nos gusta o gustan la playa. Gusta. Because la playa es singular. No? We like the beach. You don't need to say a nosotros, but you need to say this nos. So you can just say also nos gusta la playa. ¿Cómo es? A ella le las manzanas. Gustan. No, porque las manzanas es plural. Las manzanas, the apples. She likes the apples. You don't need to say a ella, but you must say le. So you can also say le gustan las manzanas. ¿Cómo es? Te, ti, 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 esta gente. These people. Te gusta esta gente. Gente, la gente, means people. 
la gente de people, la gente es feminine and singular in Spanish. So that means that we must use gusta because la gente in Spanish is singular. Te gusta esta gente. You like these people. How does it work if I want to use no, no? If I want to do a negative sentence. Then I must write this no before the indirect object. So I must say, a mí no me gusta la tarta. I don't like the cake. Or just, no me gusta la tarta. I don't like the cake. Me gusta el fuego, me gustas tú, me gusta menear, me gustas tú, me gusta la coruña, me gustas tú. He says, me gusta el fuego, ¿no? Me gusta plus sustantivo singular. I like the fire, el fuego. Me gustas tú. Now he's using gustas because it's tú, so we need to conjugate gustar. If you want to remember how to conjugate Spanish verbs in present tense, there is a video, you can click the link above. And then he says, me gusta menear. Menear, to dance, but to dance moving the hips. So, me gusta menear, me gustas tú, no? Me gustas tú, I like you. Me gusta la coruña, I like la coruña. La Coruña is a lovely city in the north of Spain. And this is very interesting because if I say le gusta leer, this means he likes to read or she likes to read. And if I want to specify, I need to write a Ana le gusta leer. I cannot write Ana gusta leer I cannot write a Ana gusta leer. So I must always write this le, not this word le. And if I want to specify that it's Javi, then I have to write a Javi le gusta leer. So it's a kind of a double indirect object because a Javi is indirect object and le is also indirect object. This is why I said that gustar is a very, very special verb. So we have no me gusta viajar, I don't like to travel, and me gusta viajar, I like to travel. But let's go to add other sentences. Por ejemplo, no me gusta nada viajar, I don't like to travel at all. No me gusta viajar, I don't like to travel. No me gusta mucho viajar. I don't like to travel much. Me gusta muchísimo viajar. I like to travel a lot. Me encanta viajar. I love to travel. And look, you cannot say me encanta mucho viajar because me encanta is already a lot. So me encanta is I love. ¿vale? So just me encanta viajar. Encantar is a verb that works exactly like gustar. And encantar is when you like something a lot. Me encanta. I love it. Me encanta. And maybe now we are able to understand the dialogue. A mí me gusta ir al parque con mi amiga Lola. I like to go to the park with my friend Lola. Mira Lola. Un pájaro. Look, Lola, un pájaro, a bird. Oh, qué bonito. Me gustan mucho los pájaros. Oh, how beautiful. I like birds a lot. A mí también. So do I. Let's go to see how it works with questions. ¿Te gusta el arte? Do you like art? No, te gusta. I'm asking you with te because I'm asking you. Sí, me gusta. ¿Le gusta el arte a María? No, I'm asking now María. This is why and I wrote in brackets a María because you don't need to say a María. So a María es like an explanation about this le. It's like a double indirect object. 
So you can say, le gusta el arte, but you cannot say, gusta el arte a María, so you cannot forget the le. No? Does María like art? Or I can also write a María at the beginning of the sentence. A María le gusta el arte, no le gusta. And then the question, ¿os gustan las verduras? No, I'm asking you, us, two people, no? Sí, nos gustan, no? Yes, we like, nos gustan las verduras, the vegetables. So imagine that someone says, me gustan los gatos. No, me gustan, because it's plural, los gatos. And you want to say, so do I, or me too, no? Then you are going to say, a mí también. But if you don't agree, then you're going to say, a mí no. And now the opposite example. Someone comes and say, no me gusta cantar, I don't like to sing. And then you want to say, neither do I, then you're going to say, a mí tampoco. But if you want to say the opposite, then you're going to say, a mí sí. So now I'm going to give you some words and then you have to write in a paper me gusta ti 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 o me gustan ti 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 o no me gusta, yeah? So you can pause the video and then the solution is at the end of the video.
aquí están las soluciones. Muchas gracias y hasta pronto amigos.